Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Tiwari once again from learnhyperinformation.com Today in this lecture I will be talking about how you can capture error messages and how you can verify the same Okay this is going to be very small topic but very important because in testing we all have to do the verification right because if your test does not have the verification it will not make or it will not add any value So I'm taking one example which is from Orange Acharya but you can take any application the concept will remain same So I want to show you the scenario suppose if I enter the valid username password I am able to log in and I can continue the rest of the test but suppose if I don't uh, give the proper username password and if I click on login as per my test I should be getting this invalid credentials message right and I need to verify the same whether this message is working as expected or not so the concept which I'm going to show you is not going to be helpful only for this scenario now whenever you have to verify the messages now it could be the tooltip messages or any other kind of messages you can use this concept okay so i will use the same and i am assuming that you have seen the previous lectures because in the previous lectures i took the same application and uh, i showed you how to do type and how to do click right so let's continue i have already created a spec file which is verify error message.spec.js and i already have the playwright with me So now I can continue with the test function and let's write our test case. So I will write test here and I will just say test name is verify error message and let me create function and let me take page fixture which I will be using for the complete test and let me use async. Okay, now let's continue. Now in order to uh open the page i will say await page dot go to and i will pass the application url that we have to automate in our case it's orange acharya now let me quickly do uh, enter username and password and let me click on login so i will click on inspect i am using selectors hub right now but if you want to directly take from here you can go ahead you can see i already have placeholder here so we also have a direct locator in playwright called placeholder right so i will go ahead and take the placeholder so await page dot get by placeholder and i will just enter admin okay it's a proper username but password i will make invalid and same thing i will do for password field just a second let me scroll it down yeah same uh, this time i have a placeholder called password so await page dot get by placeholder and let me type again which is the wrong username okay i will give some random password and let me click on this login button now for this login button you can go ahead and use anything because we don't have placeholder now so i can go ahead with the type equal to submit or maybe this class You can see I got this CSS in X path, so I will go ahead and take this X path. Await page dot. Since I'm using X path now, I will use page dot locator, and I will pass the locator, and I will say click. This is what we have done in the last video as well, and this is what exactly I showed you in my last example. Yeah. Now the main part is this error message. So let's say some random password. I click on log. and yes i got this invalid credential so if i inspect this you will see it's having a p tag right it has a class it also have uh, x path equal to 1 the moment i expand now i can see this invalid credential now you can go ahead and write your own x path okay i can take this relative x path as well or this relative css so what i will do i will just search for p tag now this class is little lengthy so i will use contains and contains i will say look for a class and i will provide the class name so class i will just say uh, alert context sorry content text okay one matching node it means i am able to find this particular message which is invalid credential now let's see how to capture it so i will say await page dot locator i will pass this x path here 
now you will be using something called text content so you can see now I have two methods here one is text content and one is all text content so if you have to capture only from a one you will use text content but let's say you have group of messages or maybe let's say you have a header maybe you have multiple options you want to capture all the text content in that case you will be using all text content this will return you one string array okay as you can see this is a method which will return you string array in return this will simply return you the message put mouse over and it will return you string now let me store this into a variable so let me create a variable called const and and i will just print the message here which is error message mm, yeah let me print i will say error message is error message let me just run this and let me see whether i'm able to get the result or not once i get the result once i get the actual string then i will put a session okay and i will show you two assertions one how you can verify the partial message one how you can verify the complete message both i will show you so depends on the requirement you can verify the partial message or the full message now i will go ahead and say npx playwright test and if i simply run this command it will run all the spec files which i have which is google login sample and all but i want to only run tests which one verify error message dot spec dot js i'm using tab here from my keyboard so it's auto populating and i want to run in headed mode so i will say hyphen hyphen headed and let me hit enter you can see it started it will enter your wrong username password okay and here we go it actually captured the error message it says error message is invalid credential and now just a matter of assertion and we are good to go if you want to see how it will uh, look like in the report so either you can run this command which is show report or you can open directly so this is the standard output that we are getting since we are using console.log it's coming here in valid credentials now let's say i want to verify this partially so i will be using expect okay you can see we are taking expect from playwright right now i will say this message which we have which is error message does it includes invalid or not okay um, so i will just copy this so if the error message contains invalid this particular expression will return me true right so i will say i'm expecting true to be truthy we have to use to be truthy it means if i get this message it will return true and if i'm getting true i'm saying it should be truthy so it will pass but due to some issue maybe it could be the application issue or maybe some random issue if the message is not displaying or maybe mess message is coming something else your test will fail in that case you will report obviously right so i will save this and let me run again obviously it will pass but let's see let's run this and it will be very quick if you want to slow down the type i mentioned right you can put a delay so it will type character by character slowly as of now no delay so it will immediately type yeah again test executed now let me use some some random thing obviously in that case it will fail so i will say i'm expecting this thing so does error message which is invalid credential does it include error no it will return false and what we are expecting it should be true so in this case it's going to fail so execute the last command again and it failed can you see this expected uh this one but to be truthy received false so actually we are expecting uh to it should be true but what we received is false so it's going to fail our test and you are able to see this failed here right same part so let's make this let's revert this because actually we want to pass this test right so i will change it back and I will make it invalid. Now this is what I'm checking partially. 
right? But what if I want to check the exact message, the complete string I want to verify? In that case, you can go ahead and use expect error message equal to equal to equal to and I will expect the complete message. Okay. Now, if this is true, again, I will say I'm expecting to be truthy. If even a single character is missing, it will fail and I will show you that in the next iteration. So let me run it once again. Yeah, it's loading. Yeah, it's passed again as expected, right? If you want to see the report, report will be exactly same, no changes. But let me remove this S now. Let me save this and let's run it once again. This time it should fail because S is missing. So that will show you in a proper report what is missing. And yeah, see, this is the default feature uh, with Playwright that if there's a test success, it will not open the report. But if there's a test failure, it will automatically open the report for you. But if you want to customize this feature, let's say you don't want to open this report always, or maybe you want to open always, like even the test is getting passed or failed, you want to open it. There's a small setting we have to do that I will show you. Okay, let's look at the report now. As you can see, it received false. We were expecting true, right? But it received false and it started failing because this expression is returning you a false because we removed S, so it is false. We are expecting true, so it failed. And if you come down here, uh, see this step got passed. The previous expect, this expect has been failed. And this is a standard out because we have used console.log, right? So yeah, th this is not the only way, the multiple ways to uh, verify their message, but this is one of the way to verify, not only their message, any message that you capture. Yeah. So yeah, that's all about this video. Please give it a try and uh, let me know if you face any issue and I will see you in the next video. If this video helped you in any manner, then please support this channel, share with your friends, colleague, subscribe this channel and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care.